I'm going to talk about uh, what was a pivotal moment for me, um, and it, w w and then I'll kind of go off on some related tangents to that. Um, basically, talking about my adventures and misadventures with um, online chatting. Um, now, my first experience with gay-related online chatting came after an exchange student downloaded this program called IRC onto our computer, the family computer, and um, within a few weeks or a couple months or so, I discovered that there was a chat room called Gay Vancouver Teen, and I was 15 years old at that time. I I didn't really know much about my sexuality. I obviously had never told anyone, so th this, well, I guess I'd, I I kind of knew, but um, so this was a revelation to finally meet people off this. So on and off for several months, I uh, would talk to people and just, it, it was the first contact that I had with other gay people and um, got to explore my sexuality a little bit with, I guess, some cyber experiences. And then towards, uh, the, uh, maybe we got it in the fall, towards the summer, I, I finally met someone off this um, for the first time. And I still remember what it was like. I, I took the bus all the way from Grouse Mountain to Lonsdale Key and then took the sea bus over um, to Waterfront Station. So this was quite a ways to go. Um, and now I was 15 at the time, and the person I met was 19. Um, and of course, I, I, I'd heard about the pedophile stories, so I, I was pretty scared about this, and um, we, we, which was why we, I chose Waterfront Station. It was a good place. and. Um, and even, you know, 15 and he was 19, I was worried about that because you never know. So, and it was, it was fine and um, realized that gay people were just pretty normal. It wasn't anything um, too different. And anyways, I continued my online journeying for a while later. And after I came out... Um, I, I discovered a website called gay.com, which um, had some uses as well. And now I'll talk more about my misadventure that happened from this once. Um, I, I was meeting, I, I was being pretty careful with who I would meet, and I, I, I was still maybe 18 at this time, and I wouldn't talk to anyone over 25, and um, I, I, I would try to make sure that they, they seemed like good, decent people before I would uh, come anywhere close to meeting them online. So anyways, I met this one guy who was uh, my age and even knew some people I had been to high school with. Um, so we were planning to meet. Um, but then there was one problem, and, and that was that he lived in something like Maple Ridge, so um, he, would, he only uh, agreed to meet me if I agreed to let him stay at my house. And I was not prepared to do this at this time. So um, we, we were kind of debating this, and he was trying to convince me. And then finally, there was a solution, um, which was that he knew someone else who was willing to give him a room for the night. So instead of just meeting him, I would be meeting him and this other guy. So anyways, I go to, um, I think it was on Pacific Avenue to meet both of them. And the other guy is much older. And um, we, we go up to some apartment and he says that it's his friend's apartment. And um, so we, we get to the apartment, it's a nice new apartment. And there's these 16-year-olds, and they look like they're kind of high on something. And they, they start referring to this guy called Grandpa, who I, start, who I, I then realized was their Coke dealer. And um, they started going to, uh, talking about going to this place called The World Later, um, which I had never heard of, but apparently was a pretty cool place to go if you were 
underaged and into drugs. So um, th this was quite revelatory for me. Um, and uh, so, but, but before we were to go there, um, first they had to go get the drugs. So then we all um, together left the apartment and then um, walked a few blocks away and then got the drugs, came back to the apartment. Um, and then a couple of these 16-year-olds went into the bathroom, kind of came out a bit bleary-eyed. And, and, and then the, 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 the guy who was the other friend of, um, uh, Th that we had met earlier in the evening. He, he was wearing a baseball cap the whole night and he took off his hat and he was completely bald. He, he had managed to look fairly young um, for most of the night, but then I realized that he was actually quite old. Um, and I, 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 I was, I, so I, I kind of wished that I had gone to the world um, but uh, by that point, I was ready to go home, so I, I went home at that point. And that, that was the end of my online misadventure.